Welcome back to CP's Garage, where today we are doing another four-scan video. This time, same truck, we're going to be doing how to turn off auto start-stop on these vehicles. Okay, we're already connected four-scan, we've got a million codes. And the next step is to get to where we can do this uh, auto start-stop stuff. So let's zoom down in on the computer, and uh, I'll be right back. All right, now that we're connected to Forescan, we're going to go. We're going to go to the little microchip right here. Then we'll go down to BCM, hit module configuration, and hit play. And since we're lazy, we're going to go up to the filter box and hit auto. And we'll space it for start stop, and we'll click on that. We'll click on that and we'll hit disable. Then we'll write. Then it's going to want us to cycle the key. And we can hit OK. In all rationality, that's all you really have to do. But to be more thorough, we can also go stop. Go back to the configuration and programming. Then we can go to the FCIM, hit module configuration, then hit play. Then we put in auto. Oops. Yeah, it should be here. Then we'll put in start. Then we go down the start stop button. We hit disable. That will disable the button on your center stack. We'll hit right. We'll hit OK. Again, it'll ask to shut off the vehicle and turn it back on. We'll hit OK. We will stop our process again. Then we'll go to module configuration again and go to the instrument panel. This is the last thing, and probably one of the most annoying things once you turn it off. You gotta go here, we're gonna type in start again, we're gonna hit start stop. We're gonna hit disable, we're gonna hit right. And again, we'll turn the key off, turn the key back on. And now, auto start stop is officially done. You don't have to deal with it anymore. Now that auto start stop's turned off, go about your business and drive your vehicle. And not have to worry about it shutting off at every red light because the EPA wants it to. So, just to show, there's no light coming on because it's now disabled. And there's also no light in the dash, even when we turn it back on. You can see that the auto start stop light the auto start stop light the grayed out light that uses usually down in the corner is not there it's gone because we turned it off so thanks for watching the channel um we'll be back with another foreskin video shortly so stay tuned be sure to like comment and subscribe see you guys